Welcome to freestyle canoeing, a sport that not too many people know about, but I want to put a spotlight on it today. Here's me favourite canoeist, Mark Ornstein, and I'm joined with Mozza in the commentary booth. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm well, Oz. Um, is this as good as this gets? Yeah, no, this is it. He's starting, he's commenced. The routine has commenced, and look at this beautiful, beautiful turn on the spot straight away. He's on his knees there, which takes a lot of a lot of core strength, mate. Yeah, I, I don't feel like I'm watching an athlete. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. I, f I feel like I'm watching somebody's granddad who's just wandered out from the home and found himself in a boat. A okay, waxing. okay. Well, no, you, you you begin to appreciate this. Look at that. Another beautiful turn, full 180, and then off he goes to the right of screen in a, in a new direction. Yeah, I think this is his first time in a canoe. Oz, oh, that's the vibe I'm getting. Oh, he's, that's he's beautiful, a... mate. Look at him. Crowd interaction. He's pouring his heart and soul into this canoeing, into this routine. And look, that backwards, that's fucking specky, isn't it? I don't think he's doing anything that special. I reckon if there was a stick out there floating on the water, just moving uh, with the water, it would be doing about... It would be about as impressive as this. No, no, no. Mate, fucking just relax, okay? It's about the gracefulness, the elegance. It's about getting in the zone, getting in your fucking zen. It's, it's you know, like a... Well, here comes some speed, all right? Look at this. That's pretty good. He's building up some speed now. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it, okay. It, it's speed relative to going nowhere, but he's, he's, he's not going anywhere quickly. Okay. Okay, well, people like this, you know? There's a full crowd no, that who, who, shows up and Oz, watches Who it. are these people? They appreciate Name it. the people, Oz. Well, I don't what know them names? personally, but, you yeah, know, no. there's a fan club. Tell me one name. I'm on the email list, and yeah, yeah. some of us out there appreciate this. Right, it's okay. It's relaxing it, to it watch a, it. Is that a deep email list? Look at that. There's a whole fucking media, mate. There's press. There's people interested in it. We're probably members of his immediate family, I'm guessing. Uh, well, look, you're fine. You don't want to fucking watch this? There's got to be something more to the story. No, this is it. This is the routine and it goes on for another two to three minutes. Does he get taken by a crocodile? No, there's no danger. Does a tsunami come? I mean, he might tip the canoe, which is... Yep. I mean, that's pretty suspenseful, isn't it? Well, yeah, the speed he's moving, he's, he's going to have to work an hard to tip. It's on an angle there. He could go in. He could fall in the drift. Yeah, that's but he his, doesn't. That's his one he's trick. A trained athlete. That's his one trick. Is almost, he... almost capsizing is his one trick. Oh, mate, you don't appreciate these subculture sports. You don't appreciate these fucking. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, putting his heart and soul into this canoe. Oh, this is some bullshit. All right, fine. I'll put your fucking favourite raccoon video on again. How's that? Oh, thank Christ. This is a top video. You love this video. You cream in your jocks every time you watch it. Why is that? Oh, it's just so relatable, isn't it, Oz? I mean, we've all been there. We've all had a big night out on the town. We found a, a quiet forest of a cheeky lie down and recover and, you know, a tree falls in your guts. You're right. That's happened to me half a dozen times in the past. I relate to this raccoon. This raccoon is me bloody spirit animal. That's it's like, come on, excuse me. I'm stuck again. Can you give us a hand? Yeah, cheers. It's, it's, it's a bit embarrassing. It's a long story, but if you could just help me out here, just yeah. really anything you could do, anything, anything. Just lift but, the tree. But don't, don't, touch, don't touch me, fucking face. Do not touch my face. I, I am under this tree. The tree is not under me. There is no need to touch me. Now, what the fuck is this strategy all about? Oh, this has gone dark. I, I'm, oh, there's some sort of waterboarding scenario coming up. They've gone full Guantanamo Bay. They're like, distrusting like, the raccoon. They think it's some kind of fucking terrorist. Oh, they think he's a member of ISIS. They want him to give up names. He, he doesn't know any names. No, they're digging a the grave. They've given up. They've given up. They're not rescuing this raccoon at all. They're bloody just digging a grave for it. Oh, mate, that poor raccoon is there. He's like, fellas, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm do I've just got a jumper on my face. I'm, I'm, not, not, a I'm, actually, I'm not dead. I'm not just even stuck. I'm out. Street. I'm out. Here he goes. It was good. The humans yeah. were okay. Oh, and, and straight back up a tree. It's probably not his best choice. No, that's a shit idea. And meanwhile, over in Africa, it's just a peaceful day. There's no lions or predators, you know, all the wildebeests and the zebras. They're, they're just hanging out in the waterhole having a good time. I always knew they could be friends. There's a high level of compatibility between them. Oh, wait a second. Whoa, some what? bullshit has gone down there. What has what happened there? Some, some bloke's just been dropped. I don't know if it... There it oh, is. There it is. Dodgy fucking zebra. That is filthy as shit. Just kicked him straight in the temple. Knocked him out cold. That's a coward kick is what that is. And oh. then look at the zebra run away like it's part of the rest of the pack. Oh, it hasn't this... done anything. And this bloke is hitting his... He's going, I'm alright, I'm alright, I can get up, I can get up. Uh, and his mate's just there going, no, no, nah. son, take, take a day or so. Yep, yep, have a mid-strength beer and a Panadol, have a lay down, you're good. And look at the look at the fucking audacity of the zebras here coming back, all arrogant and shit. Oh, this cheeky prick pretending he didn't even know what happened. Well, what's happened to you, mate? What's happened to you? Yeah, Did you what happened? Oh, yeah, was it a, was it a lion? Yeah, yeah, I reckon it was a lion. I saw a lion around here. It was a climate change or oh, a hippo. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see anything, mate. Yeah, I don't know what it could have been. Anyway, let's keep having a feed. It's a bloody mystery. Ah, oh, yeah, what's happening up on the couch? I reckon I'm a big boy. I can fucking get up there. Now's the time to be able to do it. I'll do a big jump. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh. No, you fucked it.
Mars, I've been watching Married at First Sight. The relationship experts are full of shit. Can you tell me what's actually going on? Oh, right now, this scene is a thing of beauty. You will see a man's face change from hopeful of getting a root to dead certain he's getting a root. Watch the change, watch the change, watch the change. There it was. You see Where? that? See what's the that? way? No, no, no. Look at the face. Look at the way the eyebrows lifted. Look at, look at the look I can't in see the eye. Shit. No, no, no. Oh, okay, here we go again. And so he's, he's, thinking, about he's thinking, about, thinking about getting a root. Thinking about getting a root. Thinking about getting a root. Bit hopeful. Bit hopeful. And bam, 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 bam. He is in like Flynn. Right. The eyebrow raise signifies excitement that he's getting a root. Yeah, that's right. The smile broadens. Bit of look in the eyes. Shot of our feet. What the fuck? Shh. What? No. What, what, how do Just we? How do relax. we get back here? Enjoy it. It's I'm, good. Fuck, mate. There is nothing to enjoy. I made my feelings very clear about this before. This is better than those fucking ASMR, fucking low talking, soft talking videos that everyone falls asleep to. This is more relaxing. Mate, this is. I am reassessing our lives. What have we done wrong to Just end up here? Can you not appreciate anything about freestyle canoeing? The picture perfect scenery. Mate, there is nothing to look at here. There is an old cunt floating about on a boat. He's slowly. not an old cunt. He's a fucking young man in his prime doing what he loves. Can you not appreciate that? <laughs> Mate, you have lost the fucking slot. Sportsmanship. No. The craft. No. The fitness. No. Nothing. Nothing. There's no what the fuck? I need a sandwich. Now you fucked it.